What's good, family? It's your girl Renee B, also known as Queen Summer. And I'm here with another little video for y'all. Uh, it's probably going to be a short one. I just came back from getting a couple of things from the stove. And I'm about to go inside, but I wanted to go ahead and share this message before I go in and get comfortable and all that good stuff. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if any part of the video hits home or gets under your skin so the algorithm will know what's going on over here i gotta thank y'all who have already subscribed who have been showing me support um and even giving me encouragement i thank y'all for who have been praying for me on the low and stuff like that because i haven't reached out and asked nobody to pray for me but i just sense intuitively that you know Aaron, i just feel like somebody praying for me or wishing well over me or my children you know what i'm saying even if you like concern and that's why you like lord help them you know all of that works together for my good and i'm just thankful um i'm so grateful that it's making me feel happy you feel me and i don't i like to try to be neutral because life be life and sometimes you know what i'm saying but I have this thing where if something bad happens, I can go on a tangent and just start remembering all the bad things that have happened. And same thing with good stuff. Like if something good happens, I'll go on and think of all the, you know, similar forms of goodness that I've experienced in life. And on this here day, on this morning, it's been a day of gratitude. It's been a day of appreciation. It's been a day of me acknowledging God, acknowledging his grace, his goodness, being thankful for all type of things. Like the Lord just showed me this too shall pass. Okay. This too shall pass. So if anybody's going through a situation that is making you feel broken, busted, and disgusted, you, you're fighting depression. You feel like you're fighting demons. Um, God said, cast your cares to him. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. That's the most powerful thing that you can do. And I take my car stretching as confirmation for you. Do something that makes you feel beautiful. Don't wait for somebody else to say or do something to make you feel lovely and luxury, lux luscious. I wanted to say luscious but the word luxurious came up but i feel like myself personally i got things that i can do that make me feel luxurious that don't cost more than a dollar you know like there are certain soaps that automatically make me feel a sense of luxuriousness there are certain foods that i can buy like forever rochets and frozen vegetables and you know i love a good avocado there are just certain fresh foods and fruits and vegetables that make me feel amazing you feel me oh yesterday i did hear someone say that um if you have a favorite meal you know what i'm saying get used to making that for yourself on certain days to just kind of boost your mood up a little bit even if your favorite meal is something simple like a tuna sandwich even if your favorite meal is something like I don't know, you know, something that other people would be like, oh, why you eating that? You could be doing this, blah, 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 shut the front door on them freaking. <laughs> also, like, God's been reinforcing messages that instruct me to protect my energy by not tolerating things that deliberately make me feel bad. Like, you can tell when a person coming out of nowhere and just saying negative stuff for no reason. Like, they just coming out of nowhere with a burden. They coming out of nowhere with unnecessary negativity nobody passed away nothing is being you know distorted or you know no significant change is taking place anytime soon they just be wanting to throw a little burden on your bag you feel me and i'm like i'll be open to that like i turn into those who turn into me but god is like you're not me like that's a god thing you know like some people be like oh god that's deep some people be like I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. I'm going to do to you the way you do to me. But that's God's job. You know, vengeance is the Lord. You know what I'm saying? God be like, chill, like protect your energy. Like some people feel like you are hurting somebody by being upset with them, by yelling at them and cussing them out. But no, you are satisfying their demons by giving them that exchange of energy. Don't you know that 
a lot of situations and people that we don't want to deal with and the situations that we don't want to go through would be alleviated if we just did not reciprocate time and energy towards that thing. Matching the energy. God says you are divine. Protect, protect it. The devil love getting us upset. The devil love getting us riled up. And the Lord said that everybody receive, everybody releases a, a chemical in their brain that makes them a little bit stupid when they get angry. And that's a form of vulnerability. But the thing about it is, see, our adversaries don't consider the fact that we're chosen ones, that we 